Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of July 6th through the 12th. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. It really is, and not all parts of the reading will be for you. You know, just use your common sense. If the reading isn't for you, it's not for you. Okay, this is going to be a you and the other person spread for the week ahead. This first card right here in the middle is going to be the connection, the resolution, the overall energy, you know, the main overall energy, put it that way. Then what I say, as I say, we have you on this side and them on this side. You can reverse it. Okay, you, you use your own judgment. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. What do we have for Sagittarius for the week of July 6th through the 12th? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three of Swords reversed. So who else got this? Three of Swords reversed. Libra. I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. Maybe not. Maybe have Libra in your uh, chart strongly or something like that. Or you may, you may be dealing with one. But anyhow, uh, the Three of Swords reverse is leaving the past hurts behind. On the road to recovery, letting go of the past. Healing. Healing from a painful situation. Okay? It's been painful. It hurt. It hurt really, really, really bad. Or something's been hurting you bad. You could, there could even be some, some heart pain or heart aches or whatever it is. It's, it was very painful, but this is healing from it. Leaving it behind. Uh, moving forward. You're Now you are on the path to recovery. Okay? That's the overall energy. Six of Swords. Strength reversed. King of Wands. We got a King of Wands here. So you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, particularly a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Um, could also be a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is, and I say this is you. Let's move over to here before we get started. What do we have for the other person? The world reversed. The Emperor and the Six of Pentacles. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Sun reversed. So this is uh, sadness. Okay. The Sun reversed is sadness, poor logic, unhealthy, false impressions, lack of clarity. Could be definitely be dealing with a Leo. We have Leo a couple times. Aries, it feels like you're dealing with a fire sign. Uh, does it have to be? It's either fire sign or air as far as I'm concerned. That's what it looks like to me. I feel as though there's some, been some sort of serious heartache here that has maybe put you in a uh, depressing situation. You maybe have been sad. You may, Maybe you've been feeling sick. You, but you've been, it's been unhealthy, right? It's been a very unhealthy time. I feel like there is a loss of personal fat power. Perhaps you've been dishonest with yourself about this whole situation, but I feel like you are moving in a new direction. This is moving away from the trouble, moving away from the strife, getting to a better place. And this is on the path to recovery, both of these cards. You will definitely be on the path to recovery this month, okay? You're really going to that better place. You are getting there. You're almost there. It's like... You're really taking that journey and it's going to be really, really peaceful. It's like you're leaving this pain behind, okay? Um, this is this is weakness as well. This is this is weakness, depression. There's been some sort of depression here. You've been in a state of depression. There's been low self-esteem, lack of confidence, lack of strength. You may have been feeling weak, you know, you may have been feeling doubtful, you weren't believing in yourself. You uh, may not have had a lot of uh, desire to get out there and do much, a lack of energy. I feel like in the past you were a lot stronger, you were, you were more in control, but the last, you know, maybe few months it's been a struggle. But I feel like you're finding some sort of strength that you were lacking to move away from whatever this situation is. It's like you're you're regaining the strength that disappeared, okay? You are definitely going someplace. Okay, you're definitely going someplace. Um wherever you're going, it, it's 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 
It's going to be peaceful. The ter you're leaving the trouble behind, okay? Um, whoever you are dealing with uh, needs an attitude adjustment. They are stuck in the present. Uh, they're very entitled. They refuse to listen to anyone. Uh, they don't learn from their mistakes. They uh, have held you back. This person is lazy, very, very lazy, very bossy, very much wanting to be in complete control of all the decisions, you know, a know-it-all, whoever you are dealing with. This person um, is very dominant and likes to be the dominant. Maybe it's a father or it's a husband or somebody, a boss or whoever it is. Or It's a, it's a very bossy individual, put it that way. Uh, now, this bossy individual is about to get something. Okay, they're about to get something that they deserve. And I'm not sure exactly what it is. We're going to get some more cards. But this person over here is about to get an attitude adjustment because of that world card reversed. Okay, this person is refusing to explore new avenues. They are very entitled and they are about to get an attitude adjustment. Okay, so they're about to receive something. Uh, and something may be taken away from them as well. It's like you get what you deserve. So whoever this person is that is uh, bossy and entitled is about to get something that they deserve and it's not about success okay they're not going to be successful put it that way nine of wands reversed now the nine of wands reverse is extremely challenging it's extremely challenging information Refusing to compromise. Whoever you're dealing with refuses to compromise. They have a huge chip on their shoulder. They want their own way. They're very disagreeable. They have extreme pride. And they're sitting on a high horse. So whoever you're dealing with avoids challenge. And I think they have, they have a lot of anger. They may be angry with the world or angry with their circumstances. They probably blame you. They blame you for their shortfalls, for their lack of success. Queen of Wands, this is you or the other person. Now the Queen of Wands, I think this is your side. Queen, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We are definitely dealing with another fire sign by the looks of things. Whoever you're dealing with is very feisty, put it that way. You guys probably butt heads like crazy, okay? Whoever you're dealing with, it must be a very turbulent situation. You know, you guys have a lot in common, so sometimes that isn't a good thing. So whoever this person is, it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but there's definitely a lot of... Uh, feistiness okay put it that way but this person over here is is very determined very very determined very very forceful definitely wants their own way will do anything to get their own way this person is very passionate about whatever they believe in you know their beliefs are their beliefs and you aren't changing their mind for any reason this person may be a know-it-all you could be dealing with a know-it-all I, you know, some of you are dealing with a Leo. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo uh, or an Aries. I think it's a Leo or it could be another Sagittarius. It is definitely somebody that is uh, very, very forceful. Um, but anyway, this person is um, determined. Very, very strong. Very, very proud, has a lot of pride. Definitely has a lot of pride. This is freedom. The sun is a card of freedom, enlightenment. New beginning. This is a new beginning, a breakthrough. This person is going to be experiencing some sort of breakthrough, some sort of happy new beginning. They may be whoever who what this person this is lack of closure though. This is an attitude adjustment that enlightens them. This is enlightenment. So we have a very this is egotistical as well. There's both of these cards. 
they're about somebody's about to get what they deserve now so whoever you're dealing with may get may get pregnant okay there could be a pregnancy here they may they may be starting a new life they may be moving they may be going someplace where it's warmer you know this is a warmer warmer weather this is extreme happiness so, so what this is the sun card is extreme happiness with a man okay we got a we got a man and a woman here so somebody you may somebody may be um whoever you're dealing with is extremely happy and confident They're about to receive something. This is good news. There's some good news coming for whoever this person is. There is. But that is not good news. The world card reversed, not good news. So this is like some sort of, this is weird. This is not learning from mistakes. Attitude adjustment is needed. There's no positive change that will come. Not learning a lesson, but this is positive. There is positive, but this is a hard lesson. Wounded. Very, very, somebody has a chip on their shoulder. I'm telling you what, with the Nine of Wands reversed, this is a very, we have this individual has a chip on their shoulder. Maybe this could be overly optimistic as well. Overly positive. What is going on? This one is very, very proud, very, very positive, but this, I got another card. Justice. Justice is a final decision. It's something to do with the law. Definitely could be dealing with a legal, the a Libra. Okay, this is this is a legal, legal thing, legal issue. This person may be experiencing a legal issue. Whoever you are asking about, they they may have an issue with a child as well. There could be a mother child situation. This person won't change. They won't change. Very, as we do have a know-it-all. This part, but the world, world reverse definitely won't change. This is justice, and this is justice as well. Somebody's about to get what they deserve, and this could be a judge. So I'm not sure who you are dealing with, but this is a final decision. Everything is going to turn out as it should. For somebody's about to get get judged. Okay, there's the, whoever this person is over here is about to get judged. Now, justice is a card of karma as well and consequences. Whoever you're dealing with is going to get some karma. They're going to get what they deserve. We talked about this. They're going to get some sort of karma. This is a fair and just decision brought on by the universe of some sort. Okay, because this is a universe card, but it's in reverse. We have an individual that is probably overly proud or overly optimistic or something. And, you know, there that is real. People do get overly proud. They get overly optimistic. This is a very forceful individual. The Queen of Wands, she forces things. Now, justice is bringing balance. So this is karma bringing balance to this person's life. Whoever you're dealing with. It's either a Libra or another fire sign. There is definitely balance coming with both of these cards. Okay, there's scales here and scales here. Somebody's about to get exactly what they deserve for something. For not being honest because of that nine of wands reverse. This is dishonesty distrustful refusing to compromise we have somebody here that is determined to win they're determined to win and it feels like they're going to something could get taken away because they force you can't force the universe you can't force something to happen this is a new day okay the the, the sun card is a new day a new beginning and perhaps that new beginning is you Somebody is about to get a new beginning, and maybe it's because justice is served for you. What the hell? Let's go over here. So this is uh, taking action to move in a new direction, uh, finding your strength that was lacking. This is like leaving the past behind. 
Four of Cups, seizing a new opportunity, moving forward, interested, focusing on the future, no longer for focusing on the pain. Oh, see, there's an imbalance here. There's an imbalance. This is the Knight of Swords. So there's been some sort of imbalance and the universe is coming to balance out the scales. Okay, that's what we got here. The universe is going to balance out the scales in your favor. This is, I'm telling you what, they are. I think that uh, you have been in an unbalanced situation where there was a lot of trouble. You were dealing with an individual that was very selfish very very selfish very self-centered all they cared about with themselves this person caused you some sort of upheaval they caused you angst i think it's internal you know they caused you you mental strife okay and i feel like this person was clueless to your needs okay they were they all they could think about was very selfish very 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 selfish i feel like there's there's uh you are probably making a getaway I think that you're making a getaway. I think that, or somebody's coming to the rescue. Somebody has rescued you, or they've come to the rescue. This could be a rescuer, you know, where you've you've been rescued from a situation, or you're going to be rescued from this situation. I think that you 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 um, are going to be taking a risk of some sort. I think you've also been been throwing yourself into a situation. Um, hoping it would get better just hoping it would get better but i think all of a sudden there's going to be a change because this is a very sudden energy all of a sudden there's going to be a change now all of a sudden uh there's freedom this is freedom all of a sudden there's like freedom from this unhealthy situation okay there's been a depression it's like all of a sudden and this is sudden uh, this is all this is all of a sudden somebody comes to the rescue or this is like takes away or something like that and that could have happened in the past it's like you're you've gotten to a better place you're leaving the past hurts behind you got this individual over here is about to get some karma because this is karma on top of this one somebody's about to get some karma and it's going to it's going to break them free it's gonna this is actually happiness okay so the Sun card is happiness it's a happy new beginning freedom freedom from a dark situation okay because Sun replaces darkness oh, one more card here ah the hermit so time to withdraw go within and plan your next move it's time to withdraw from others. This person it may be going, somebody may be going to rehab. They may be going someplace. Okay, this is withdrawing. This this could be, um, I feel like it's rehab. I don't know why. I don't know if it's rehab or going somewhere. This is seeing the light and we have light here. Somebody is about to become enlightened from karma. Okay, they are. Karma is about to enlighten your other person. Whoever you're dealing with listens to themselves. They are very self-centered. They don't listen to anybody else. I feel like this person, whoever they are, is going to be going their own way. They're going to be they're going to be freed from some sort of obligation. And you may be celebrating. This could be celebrating. You may be celebrating very, very soon. There could be a celebration. There could be a get-together where there's, you know, a celebration. You may be going to some sort of party or celebration this week. Um, but this is uh, enlightenment. So whoever you're dealing with, this is enlightenment. This is enlightenment. So that We have a person that has a chip on their shoulder that is very, very bossy and forceful that has tried to force and, and um, control maybe you. This person is about to get, um, maybe it's a karmic revelation or a karmic release or whatever it is. They've been flogging a dead horse. They have.
But this is an ending. It is. The justice is. It's final. It's final. You're finally free. Finally free. Finally free from this person. So be prepared for that and good luck.